Hi guys. My name is Mary. I'm going to be doing the second half of February reading for you all. February 16th through the 29th reading for Aquarius. Happy leap year, you all. <laughs> That's kind of funny saying, ain't it? Kind of funny hearing it. Yes, it's leap year this year. It's kind of neat. I hope everybody still has a happy birthday. Some of you guys are still having birthdays. Hope everybody has a great birthday. This is for your sun, moon, and rising signs. It's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate, you might want to try your other signs. I'm using my old cards that I used to use all the time. We're going to do, do something a little different today. Hope you guys like it. All right, you all, let's see what we got. Oops. Figure it out. The High Priest. The Tower. King of Cups. Ace of Cups. Two of Cups. Six of Swords. Princess of Swords. And the Sun card. Wow. Nice. You're clarifying the world. Four of Swords, and the Princess of Pentacles. Give me just a minute, okay? I feel like some of you guys have found a new relationship or getting into a new relationship or getting closer possibly with some someone. These cards give me a really good feeling about love and emotions and happiness and um, partnership. So of course when I get the Ace, when I get the Two of Cups, when I get the Sun card and moving forward possibly together the world on top of it along with the tower it really makes me feel like that there's something in your life that needs to come to an end so something else can begin and when I get the tower card some people panic and some people go oh my goodness I don't want to see that but honest to goodness you all this is a good card for for most of my readings this card just tells me that something is ending that you may have been putting off that you may have not um, acknowledged, that you may not have wanted to deal with. And something comes in and actually maybe a truth comes out. Maybe it's just in your own mind. One day you wake up and it's almost like an epiphany or something that changes your, your way of thinking. It's almost like it happens in a split second. So sometimes these can be from dreams or sometimes it can be from just an idea that pops in your head one day and you say, you know what, I've got to change that. I've got to change the way I feel about that. I've got to change the way I look at that. I've got to change the way I handle certain situations. So when you do that, that little bit of um, new perspective will actually change the way you live, change your mind on certain things, change your reaction on a lot of things. And it's a, it's, a, it's a refreshing kind of a feeling that I have right now. It makes me feel like you guys are going to be like, 
why didn't I do that a long time ago? Why? So when I get these cards, it's really a good feeling. And for heaven's sakes, I've got the high priest right here. Some of you guys are thinking about engagement or marriage or possibly even eloping. Some people are maybe getting married this month or even or maybe just talking about it so you can start planning on it. So these are good overall, not just good, it's a great feeling that I have. So when you see the tower card, please don't panic. That's only something that says, okay, here's the next step in your life. This has got to end or your mind has got to change in order for you to move forward. And then I get this world card right here. This is really telling me that something's some a part of your uh, cycle in your life is coming to an end so a new cycle can begin. So possibly, for some of you all, if you have met someone, I think this is going to be a fantastic relationship. For some of you all, if you haven't met anyone, I think that maybe you will be finding someone in the next two to three months. Now I know that this is a uh, timed reading, so to speak. I mean, I, I do it for February 16th through the 29th. However, everybody is not on the same schedule. Everybody's not on the same time frame. So if you have not met someone, you may be meeting someone very soon, within the next few months, and I think this person is going to knock your socks off. <laughs> Rock your world. I really do. I think the two of you guys are going to be ecstatic together. So it's a really good feeling. It's a great feeling of happiness and emotions and security. It's just a really good feeling that I feel like you guys are going to have a life together. Now, if you just meet somebody, I'm, don't take this the wrong way. I'm not expecting you to run out and go get married if you just met them today, right? But I do see it um, continually getting better, better and better and stronger and more loving day by day by day to where you guys are going to not want to be away from each other. Some of you all are in a, a long distance relationship possibly and I believe that that's it's going to make you stronger by not being able to see each other as much or to um, be together. So when the time comes and you guys are do get together or are um, meet possibly for the first time, I think it's just going to be uh, overwhelming for a lot of you guys. I could see some of you traveling possibly to see each other or to go on vacation together or to meet up with someone. Maybe um, you're traveling to a new city or a new state or a new country so you guys can, can live together, maybe. Now, if you are in a relationship, let me back up a little bit because this is not just new relationships. This can be old relationships that you're rekindling your relationship, that you're, you're falling back in love, you're getting, your relationship is getting stronger again. Because sometimes over the years, you may have forgotten to, uh, hold on, let me rephrase. You know, sometimes when you're with someone for such a long time, you start not really taking them for granted, but maybe a little bit. It just happens that way. You just know that they're there and they're there for you and you're there for them. And the next thing you know, it's kind of like, um, Something happens and boom, you guys are immediately reconnected. So that's how I'm feeling with these cards. Almost like for some of you all, if you haven't met someone yet, I feel like you will be. Especially sometimes if you're not looking is when you find them. If you have met someone, I think that this relationship is going to continue to get stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. Some of you guys are dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, male or female. Very kind and caring and loving and giving and just wants to bend over backwards for you. Some of you guys are dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, male or female. 
very intelligent, very truthful. Some of you all, this is a child of yours possibly or someone that's younger that you're dealing with. But I have a feeling that if you guys are um, wanting, looking for, possibly getting into some sort of a relationship, this is seriously going to be a relationship that you're going to have for a very long time. You guys are really uh, almost, in my mind, meant for each other, which is a great feeling to have, right? You can always date, and you can always, you know, um, enjoy someone else's company, but when you're with someone that you just absolutely uh, can't imagine yourself without, it's a great feeling that I have. Hold on one second. Some of you guys may be thinking about vacation. I think I said that already. But some of you guys, I believe, are moving. Some of you guys are going to the water. Some of you guys are going on vacation. Some of you guys are going together or meeting up. Maybe even for the first time. Or maybe it's the first time in a long time, especially if you've been together for a while. You may need some extra rest, extra sleep, meditate, maybe do some exercises, possibly yoga for some of you. Because I feel like that there has been some sort of a something that either you're working too hard, you're not sleeping good at night, there is something about um, the feeling that I get that you guys just need some extra R&R um, &R right at this moment. Now some of you all may be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, male or female, could be younger. These princesses could also stand for messages, you all messages coming in. She could stand for truth and intelligence and you all's energy today and she could stand for being grounded and down to earth and seeing everything on the more practical side. These could be your children. These could be co-workers. These could be people that you just know. Your relatives of some sort or they could be your energy. You guys are actually seeing things in a different way. Air sign is definitely your energy. This gives me a great feeling if you guys are um, involved in a new relationship because I feel like that your emotions are off the charts. I feel like that you guys haven't had this kind of love in a long time, you haven't felt this way in a long time, and you haven't um, had someone love you like this in a very long time. So I feel like that this is an absolute um, happy occasion that you guys are having right now. If you guys, because I put this out a little bit early, if for some reason you guys have not met anyone, and you may not even be looking for anyone. You may be thinking, Mary, you're crazy. I, I don't want to be with anyone. I don't want to find anyone. I'm, I'm not interested. Even if you're not looking, I feel like you're going to find someone that may just pop into your life that you may not even expect, especially with this tower, some kind of a major change in your life and this world card saying that this cycle has come to an end and a new cycle is beginning. So guess what? I feel like for a lot of you, this is a... Now, go, let me go back just for a second. It just hit me. For, some, for a lot of you, this is a romantic partner. For some of you, this could be someone in your family getting married. This could be a, uh, some, a, a partnership, or some kind of a business partner, some kind of, some kind of a friendship partner. This, maybe you guys are going on a trip together. So if it's not a romantic partner, which for a lot of you, most of you, it is, 
it could be a different kind of partnership that you guys are in um, emotionally fulfilled, emotionally happy, emotionally satisfied. You're moving forward. You're not looking back. And you're absolutely tickled. I mean, you know, the sun card's the happiest card in the deck, you all. For heaven's sakes. If you guys are in some sort of a, a wishy-washy, up-and-down mode right now, don't panic over it because it's going to get better and better and better over the, <coughs> excuse me, over the next few months. February, March, April. You guys are going to be extremely excited, extremely happy. Some of you guys are moving forward in marriage. Some of you guys are... Um, talking about marriage, getting engaged. The ones that are married are going to continue to get closer and closer and closer in a great relationship. And it's really going to be a happy situation to where you guys haven't been this happy in a very long time. So I'm really, really happy to tell you that. It gives me a great feeling. Like you guys have deserved, have needed or wanted or you guys deserve this type of a feeling. And maybe, just maybe, you guys are going to be happier than you have ever been. So I'm very excited to tell you that. Don't panic over the Tower card. It's just another stepping stone in your life. This World card, this Sun card, Two of Cups, this is a great relationship about to happen if it hasn't already. So just enjoy it. Go with it. And realize that this person likes you, loves you as much as you do them. Great feeling, you all. All right, you guys. I hope everybody has a happy birthday. Um, this is a fantastic reading. I hope you guys have enjoyed it today, and I hope you guys come back and see me. This is for Aquarius for February 16th through the 29th. See you guys soon. Take care.